Entering your data into your account on our website is very quick and easy, especially if you have recorded your data on one of our scorecards while you played. If you have watched our short video on recording data, you will know that our scorecards are available on our homepage under How It Works. Here's a list of all the videos and helpful items that we have included. I've signed into my account and will begin the data entry process. Entering your data will also be much easier if you have already added the course. Again, there is a short add course video also under how it works. I will assume that you have already entered the course. Now let's enter the round. I go to my rounds, enter new round. The first section covers the basic round information. Select the date, the course from your list of courses, as well as the green speed, the format, tournament or non-tournament, match play or stroke play, and relatively new feature, we have the ability to enter nine hole rounds. You simply select the front nine or back nine from the course that you have selected above. I'm gonna leave it at 18 holes. Finally, enter your total score. Note that if you're entering an equitable stroke control adjusted score, also enter the score for each hole the same way. Our system will accommodate either gross score or adjusted gross scoring. Just be consistent and make sure you match the total score with the hole by hole score. Next proceed to the front nine. You will note the format of the data entry page exactly matches the layout of our scorecards. Our goal is that you will need as few clicks as possible to enter your data. Note, if you've selected your course, all of the pars will be correct and you don't need to adjust them. If you are using a generic course, all of the pars will be par four. You merely need to adjust the par threes and the par fives by clicking on the par. The first line is driving. Note the default is that you hit every fairway. We would all like to do this. If so, we have nothing to do on that line. To record one of our missed categories, simply click on the fairway and come over and pick the relative severity of that miss. Good lie, bad lie, no shot, etc. The next line is greens and regulation. The default here is that you miss the green. Why? Because most golfers hit way less than half of their greens in regulation. In fact, the average golfer hits less than five greens. I like to go across and click all the greens that I hit as I move through the data entry. Next is putting. Enter the number of putts and the distance. In this case, I had two putts from 25 feet. Note the system prompted me with the par four. We have created intelligence behind the scenes to prompt a score based on what the system has seen you enter. While the system is intelligent, it is not clairvoyant. So you need to make sure and check that the score prompted is correct. If not, it's very easy to change. One more important point, pickups. We all have them. Simply record what happened on the hole up to the point at which you picked up and then select this button. The system will use the data that you've recorded to calculate and assign strokes gained properly and it will not affect the rest of parts of your game. When finished with the front nine, move on and enter the back nine using the same process. After completing the back nine, save your round. If you have made mistakes or omitted important data, the system will warn you, as it has warned me here. These warnings will indicate the type of mistake and the hole or affected hole. Simply return and correct the hole and then resave your round. I also recommend that you take a look at our frequently asked questions, again under how it works in your account. Play well and have fun.